Hello, I pray that you are well today. We continue in 2 Timothy, verse 10 of chapter 3. You, however, know all about my teaching, my way of life, my purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, sufferings, what kind of things happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, and the persecutions I endured. Yet the Lord rescued me from them all. What is he saying? He's saying, but you've seen the experience of God in my life. The Apostle Paul is saying, you know my teaching and you, you know how I've lived my life. You know my purpose for living and my faith, my patience, love, and endurance. But also the difficult things, persecutions and sufferings, particularly what kinds of things happened in Antioch and Iconium and Lystra and the persecutions I endured. Yet the Lord rescued me from them all. We all have places like Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra where God intervened. Can you think of a time in your life where God intervened? Where God stepped in? Where God protected? Where God did something? It goes on to say, in fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Jesus Christ will be persecuted. Not everything will be easy. Not everyone will applaud. Not everyone will be happy. While evildoers and imposters will go from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. In other words, what's around you might not be good news. But as for you, continue in what you've learned and have become convinced of because you know those from whom you've learned it. But don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't quit. Don't stop. But as for you, continue in what you've learned. Continue trusting and you'd be convinced of and verse 15, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, and how from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures. Maybe it's like for you, that you always grew up around the Scripture, around the mercy of Jesus Christ, around the church, just like Timothy. And for how from infancy you've known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus. And then he talks about Scripture itself, all Scripture is God breathed. The original word is theopmistus, that is the, the very breath of God, and is useful, it's inspired, and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. For teaching, for saying what's true, for rebuking, that is for warning, for correcting, that is to set a bone back right, and training in righteousness, to, to know the next right thing to do, so the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. How do we look at this book? We say all scripture comes from the very voice of God himself, and therefore it's useful for telling us what's true and, and directing us and guiding us for convicting us and comforting us so that we would be thoroughly equipped for every good work, that we are prepared for what happens next. I pray. I pray how that you would have scripture in your mind. I ask you the question, what are the scriptures that encourage you? What are those scriptures you come back to again and again? And those truths that you need to evaluate again and again? I say one to you, for me. Ephesians 3.20, that God is able to do far more than we ask or think. I, I love thinking about that. God is able to do more than I can pray and more than I can think about. That is comforting to me because God is all powerful and God loves. The scripture feeds your soul like nothing else. Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray your grace to be upon us today. We pray that your scriptures, that we would dwell in us richly, we pray for those who grieve and those who mourn and those who struggle. We pray for re reviving, refreshing, and renewing all by your power. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.